Okay, we're going to do a little introduction to OpenSCAD. Um, if you look here, we got the uh, editor section on the left and the preview part on the right, and a little console down here for some output in case you have any errors. Um, just for reference, um, we are using OpenSCAD version 2015.03-1 as things change. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is create a little two-dimensional circle. So we just type circle and Inside parentheses, you can put a number, and every command in OpenSCAD is going to end with our semicolon. So there we go, we have a two-dimensional circle. So even though it looks three-dimensional, if we actually fully render it out, it's going to be two-dimensional. Okay. In order to get this preview to show up, you have to press F5, or you can use the preview button up here uh, on the editor. Okay, so this six, uh, we don't really know what that means, um, but what it really means is the radius of the circle. So we can do r equals to be more specific, get the same result. Okay. Now we can also specify the diameter instead, and it's going to make it smaller because that's going to be this from side to side. Just change the number here, and we have a bigger circle there. And if I change the d back to an r for radius, it should be double because it's going to double that for the diameter. There you go, bigger circle. Cool. Um, we can do the same thing with a square. So if we change the word circle to square, okay, now we have a square. Looks pretty small, huh? Now the problem is squares don't have a radius, okay? So we need to take this out. There we go. Now we have our square, okay? Again, it looks like it's just barely three dimensional, but if we fully render it with F6 or pressing this button here, you can see that it is flat, okay? Go back to our preview mode. Okay. And we can change the number here. 15, right, 20, and so on. Cool. Okay. So this is going to give us a perfect square, right, where all the sides are the same. Okay. But if we want to actually make a rectangle, we're going to use the same command square, but we're going to have to give it a length and a width. So we'll give it another number with a comma in between. So 20, comma 15 will now give us a square of slightly different size. Oh, that didn't work, right? Mm, problem. When you use more than one value here, we need to have square brackets. There we go. There we go. It's important to have the square brackets um, in, in the square, which we can explain later. All right. Um, now, it's also possible to make a, a polygon with us, but you have to specify all the points and the path. So I don't want to go into a great detail here, but we can write something like this, polygon, okay, open parenthesis. Now the first set of points, we're going to do uh, 0, 0, okay, and then we're going to have 5, 0, okay, then we're going to have 5, 5, Okay, whoop, an extra comma there. Then we'll have zero five. Okay. Another bracket. Okay. Double brackets there for the different sections. So the first section here is gonna be the points, and then we have the path. So you can see it will separate out a little bit. And there we go, like that. A little bit easier to see. Path is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, just like that. So the path is just simply telling our, our software where to connect, how to connect the points. So it's going to connect the points starting with 0. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. It's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3 and connect all the points 0, 0, 5, 0, 5, 5, 0, 5. And the points here are are uh, x, y values. So first value is x, second value is y. And your your planes here, since we're only working the 2D plane, you can see x is the one here, right? And uh, I'm sorry, y is the one going here, right, the green, and x is the one going along this way, right? So if you look at from the top, this is what you're used to seeing, something more like this. 
and get a top view perfectly down like that. So now you're just seeing Y up and down and X left and right. So it's a little bit easier to see for this. Now let's render this out. And we have a square. So we can change one of the values. And now we have a different shape. Right? Kind of cool. Change one again. You could put negative numbers in. Okay, now you got a really weird shape. And you can play with this all you want. All kinds of funky shapes. Very cool. Okay.